Hey y'all, it's Allie, and I wanted to share with you my A5 notebook, just a peek, and I've gotten more inserts in it, and I wanted to give you a peek inside and kind of tell you how I'm using this notebook and kind of my art journey that I've been going on with this notebook. It has been so much fun, so much fun, that I have not been really journaling and love you much. I've been in more art journaling. So, and I don't feel bad about it. I had posted a video to my patrons about my thoughts and my heart towards that. I just, I'm not gonna stress out about it. And as I'm inspired to write and love you again, I will. I'll go back, I go back and forth. It's just, you know, I'm like the wind. I just kind of go wherever. <laughs> so wherever I feel like I want, where I'm happy. Y'all had responded that you did want a special video for the A5, a closer look at it. And so I wanted to bring that to you. So thank you so much for watching. Alrighty, desk is a mess. Desk is a mess. Have you ever had this water, La Croix? It's delicious. No calories, no sugar, no sodium. It's amazing. Let me just scooch all this away so you think I have a clean space. Didn't see anything. Whoops. This is my A5 Chic Sparrow Odyssey Classic because I have a tendency to rummage through the leather room <laughs> when I visit Jen and I just, I'm just, everyone's like, where's Allie? Oh, she's in the leather room. So I just like smell the leathers basically. And I found some pieces of leather and I asked if I could, they were able to be distressed. They were the last ones. And so I got them. I distressed this one myself and it is so, I love it so much. It's getting so many marks. It is a toffee odyssey. And um, if you open it up, this is my watercolor insert that I have been using a lot for like art and just, just mixed media and stuff. This one, I'm just really loving this cover. I'm gonna have to do something cool with this after I am done with this tracing paper insert because I don't know, I love this. It just happened on a whim and I loved it. But anyway, this is my tracing paper insert. Again, if you have if you have magazines or anything really that you can put behind it, you can start tracing out faces and I'm literally looking around to see if I have anything. Hmm. Basically, these are from magazines and you just basically put, you know, a picture, whatever behind the paper and start tracing the facial facial features real quick to get your brain just quickly re understanding where the proportions are and stuff. <clears throat> and so that's really a, why this sensor is in here is because when I do get a magazine, which I haven't lately, I need to go to the store and just pick up one, just kind of like doing different faces. So, cause I really want to nail my proportions. This insert y'all hadn't seen in the last video, but this I accidentally ordered. It is an A5 Midori insert. And I did not realize it was going to be this thick. I do love Midori paper. I miss my Midori paper for journaling and I'm tempted on my next insert to go back to Midori for a, for a volume just so I can play with it again. But this insert might keep me from doing that because I'll have this. This one is a Tomoe River insert from Goulet Pens, 52 grams. Apparently Goulet Pens does have the 60 something. It's in the 60s gram, so it's a little bit thicker, but it's still Tomoe River paper. And I'm really curious about what that paper feels like. I have heard wonderful things about it from like CN, She's one of my patrons and we get to hang out on Google and she has just raved about that insert and I'm so excited to try it. Um, I just learned so many awesome things from my patrons. I'm like, what, what am I doing on YouTube? Y'all need to be on YouTube. <laughs> That's a Tamari River. I need to get a big old rubber band though to piggyback these. And then this one I got from Jet Pens and it's just like a lined, simple line notebook. It was super cheap. It was like, I think two something, two dollars and some change or something like that. I'll put all the links below for where I got these, all, all the links for them. I'm not affiliated with any of these places. I just, that's where I got them. Okay, so let me go back to, to what I'm doing here. So my watercolor insert is literally just me getting stuff out. So this I did at the airport. I actually have a video on um, Instagram that I sometimes will take time lapses with my phone and I'll put them on Instagram because it's a lot of fun. And then this was like a princess thing I did for my patrons and this was something I did 
And I'm trying to like now kind of work on expression. So like you'll notice in the back, this girl has, she looks concerned, you know? And um, I'm trying to, I love this like longer neck kind of look, this whimsy look. And this, I was so proud of this picture. Like I did this one last night. I don't know, I liked it. I thought I nailed the shading and I'm just, I'm just happy with this one. But so I just kind of just putting myself out there. This was um, when I was watching a movie with my boys. I just kind of used this one. Um, a lot of mixed media. I love stenciling. I love that. And one of my favorite things to use right now for sketching is a big chunky graphite pencil. This is a tutorial I did on Patreon to show proportions and how I'm doing such. I actually added more to it later. This I also did last night. And so I'm just like literally just busting out stuff. This one, oh my gosh, is one of my favorites. Again, this is a china marker, I believe. So I used a black china marker with that. I had actually sprayed some of this Buccaneer. Is it Buccaneer or was it the silver one? I believe I used Long John Silver. I had sprayed this on something else and I took the stencil and just smashed it down like that. And so this is the leftovers from something else I did and I just did a little I saw her hair all up in this and so I, I thought that was cool so just kind of just going for it so this is leftovers from something and then I did that so I'm just kind of just going arting doing it as much as I can this was something I did uh, in the prayer room working with like costumes on like like little hooded like you know the little booty hoodie you know what I'm talking about the little booty pajamas doing faces like they're in these little costume booty pajamas. I think that's kind of fun. And let's see, this is a project I did for a friend for a dashboard. And I did some lettering in Photoshop. I hand lettered and scanned it all in. And I did, I went on the other side and did my little princess honey buns over here. And so that's just again, graphite. Um, and then this girl, watercolor and some light pencil. I'm really into light pencil too. So that's just like me just releasing. If I feel like being artsy, I just stick it on here. No loss really because I made this insert and it's cheaper watercolor paper. This watercolor paper is textured on both sides and I would suggest if you're gonna make your own insert, get it kind of textured on both sides because the new one that I made for my video, it was a little smoother on one side. So it'll be interesting to see how that one functions, but that's just, it's just awesome. And then so simple, I mean, it comes out, my little jacket stays in and I can switch this out if I want to or something else someday. I might actually, put this, when I'm done with this insert, on the front of here and do something else in the back or whatever. But um, yeah, just put, pop another one in when I'm done. So I'm gonna keep this going because I'm having so much fun and I bring it with me. I bring it with me everywhere because I've been using that tote. So again, this one's just the tracing paper one. I'm not gonna rehash that. This one, okay, I've been really missing, I do, I used to scrapbook a lot. I'm missing this whole, like Allie Edwards would do like a blank page and she would have like one picture with some embellishments and then just a little bit of journaling. And I've seen that, you've seen it at other places of scrapbooking where there's still be like a blank page and a bunch of embellishments and then in sometimes not even any journaling, just one picture and then everything surrounding that picture. So I've been missing that. So when I accidentally bought this insert, I'm like, oh my goodness, this would be perfect for that. And so let me show you an example of what I'm thinking about. This picture is not really like an artsy fartsy picture. It's just like a picture I have, but thinking about, you know, putting something here, putting a couple little embellishments, gluing this down and just doing a little bit of words here or here, but mainly it being just a lot of color, just kind of letting myself, watercolor and do you know put a couple little things and then maybe one or two pictures and so it'd be kind of almost like a scrapbook like only no not a lot of words not like lovey where i'm mainly doing words but just popping a picture down and just making it more like a scrapbook so as i'm flipping through it'll just be mostly pictures and color i'm very excited about it i'm gonna start it out with a picture of a muffins that I made for my boys last week actually, banana muffins, and it was just a really sweet morning um, for me personally and for my boys, and just, I was just realizing a lot, and that video, again, is on Patreon. So I'm very excited about using this insert. I'm probably gonna do something tonight in this one. And then the Tamoy River, I literally got just cause I love Tamoy River paper, and I figured, you know what, if I liked 
this method and ever, you know, wanted to do something else and I could use this or art or whatever. I just got it because I did because Tomoe River's the bomb. And then this one, I think I'm just going to write, I don't know what I'm going to write in this one, honestly. I don't know. Oh, that's the other thing I was thinking. I was thinking this was going to be my 1000 gifts book so like i could do my painting do a picture of something i'm thankful for and then start listing out my 1000 gifts so like you know have a picture of tozer and be like tozer's nubby tail wagging or you know um hearing ashley singing at 6 a.m in the morning or whatever i don't know there's a whole bunch of things that i'm thankful for after reading that book i'm trying to take note of what i'm thankful for and being aware of how much i have to be grateful for and so i think this might be a great place to just artistically with photos just lay it out you know so that's kind of i don't know what the notebook i just got it because my husband got some and I'll figure out something for it, but I just wanted to make it in there, but it's kind of a little chunkier now. I don't know if you can see that, and especially because of this notebook right here, but mainly for sure my purpose for it is to do a lot of art to help my muscle memory with face uh, pers perspective, or not perspective, my face proportions, and then like a little 1000 gifts um, kind of scrapbook kind of thing. So yeah. I think that's it. I'm going to keep this video a little shorter. I'm thinking about, I know I have a whole bunch of long, long videos. And so anyway, let me know how you liked that. If that was helpful. If you have a, something like this, do you have a grateful insert where you just put it, stuff that you're grateful for? Do you have an insert or a TN that you just art in? Do you keep it simple? Do you plan? Let me know. I want to, I want to know about y'all too. So thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so, so, so much to my patrons for supporting me and and sponsoring these videos by their pledges i'm just so grateful for y'all thank y'all all for watching and your support and your love i got to meet some people today at a planner meetup hi everyone that i met today and they're just fun it's fun to see viewers and take pictures and selfies and whatever so thank you so much if you ever see me out and about near san antonio please say hi because i would love to give you a hug on the neck not wring your neck but hug your neck and uh, say hello and see your tns if you have them with you and your journaling. So, all right, y'all, I will quit blabbing. Have a awesome, fabulous day. All right. Bye. I got a haircut. You see my hair? It's all layered now and bouncy. My butt's vibrating because I'm getting a text.